Ubud video today, and we're going to look at inserting um, just one punch option inside of Ubud, just kind of a short video. Keith is going to throw a wide punch in the middle of our generator, and we're going to work on the backhand gun tip. We've got our basic Ubud generator going, right? So it's our catch lift pat format. Um, if you're new to Ubud, then check out one of the other videos that we have on how this works. There's all kinds of different generators. This is kind of the standard baseline one. So he's going to go catch, lift, but then he's going to hook instead of trapping. When he throws this hook, this hand is already lined up with his bicep, and this one is here protecting my center, so I'm going to shift that shape over. That's my backhand good thing like that. So again, from the top, we have this generator going, and at his will, he will catch, he will lift, and he'll punch. That's backhand good thing. The follow-up from here is I back fist over top, and we can see that this line is available like that. So instead of letting me hit him, he's going to jam that gun up in the middle. I'm going to insert underneath the wedge, trap, and we're back in. That one again, when he's ready, he'll fire that punch. I back in good thing, and I throw my left side in this scenario, back fist, that hammer right down the middle. I wedge to replace and regain control, and we're off and running. He's going to lift, he's going to throw his uh, wide punch. I'm going to backhand Gunten and I'm going to throw that back hammer. Okay, now instead of wedging around, I'm just going to inside trap. I could go on this side like that and follow up. What we're going to do is corkscrew this elbow down and make that a vertical punch right down the center line. Right, so we have a diagonal and a center line motion this way. So that again, he lifts and throws his punch. That's my backhand Gunten. I thread through. Trap and fill. Okay? Now, that other hand of his is free, so he's going to cross pair it. Be like that. That's disrupting my punch. So when I trap this to his body, I pull this one through, like that. Feed, and we're off. So kind of a longer series. He lifts and punches. Backhand good thing. Back hammer. Here, like that. Maybe I score, but if he does this cross parry, then I'm going to tap and good thing that forearm. Then I step back in with my hammer. When he stops me, I wedge and we're back off. So we're really adding a piece into the middle there. Right? We're still going to finish with the wedging motion like this, trap and feed, but we'll include a more, a, a rather another exchange in the middle right here. Cross parries, I good thing and I'm back off. theme is I'm going to practice my backhand gun ting and fill the line and now he has the opportunity to practice more of an inward gun ting in flight and this will actually act as a switch. So if thus far we've only been feeding each other on the right side, this will give us an opportunity to flow to switch so that we're also feeding on the left side. Now you can practice the list thus far or anything else you have for that matter from both sides. So we're off and running, same as before, we have our generator. When he decides he's ready to try it out, his catch, lift, and punches, that's my backhand good thing, same as always. Right then, as I transfer to this hammer, he's going to stop it, but he's going to allow his other hand to come right through the center to his sternum. Right, so when he's jammed that up, he hits in flight. Right, that back hammer comes through, his hand is going to be here, so he good things that, he mosses, it's probably forearm, but it certainly could be the nerve here, right? Bang, and through. So again, when he's ready, he throws his foot, and I go back in good thing. Then I go back hammer, see his hand line right up with this, so he puts that through, back hands, and now I wedge out, and look at we're left to left. So I lift and I hook. He's gonna hit my bicep with this hand and cross parry with this one. He's gonna fill this line, boom. I don't want him to hit me, so I'm going to stop him, and I'm going to pay him back for it, because I don't like people trying to hit me. So when I stop it, I give him one like that. This hand is already in flight now to hit, wedge, trap. 
Okay, so that's it for this week. Just a quick clip to uh, get the body moving and try a couple things inside of Fubud. Uh, there's all different types of ways to hit and to add in these destructions along the way. You're gonna find your own routes and your own opportunities to do these destructions in there. There's a lot of pretty straightforward ones, some pretty fun complicated ones. Um, and it's just a, a way to get your brain working, to get your body moving, and to get you used to developing that sensitivity, get you used to in this close quarter, um, tight contact range, finding some creative solutions to problems. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you, Keith, for helping out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And we'll see you up here at MKG Detroit on the mats.